Lior Posen's uh, demonstration about how he built a drop shipping empire with 35 stores without spending hours in front of the screen. So Lior is the founder and CEO of AutoDS, an all-in-one drop shipping tool that helps people to automate their entire drop shipping business. He has 11 years of drop shipping experience and is still an active drop shipper who manages a drop shipping empire of over 35 different e-commerce stores. Today, he's going to cover what the two main types of automations are that can run your business almost automatically. He'll cover what the final goal of any dropshipping owner should be, and he'll discuss which types of tasks can be automated to save you time, whether everything should be automated, and if so, how. After this presentation, you'll have a wide point of view about the right business management methods in this era. So Lior, uh, Lior Software Auto DS is the only one that I personally trust to run my own eBay dropshipping business. So more than any other software owner out there, he cares about his users. So I know he is going to bring you a ton of value here today. Thank you so much for being here, Lior. How you doing, man? You ready? Hey, Paul. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you for having me in this amazing conference. Of course. Um, so I'm going to pass it over to you now. It's all yours. Great. Thank you. So um, the presentation name is how I built a dropshipping empire of 35 different stores without spending hours in front of the script. Now, basically, I will not talk here about the basic stuff of dropshipping, about how you find products and stuff like that. I will talk about the automation part of that. I will talk about how you can automate everything and not only in case of software, not only using software or automation tools. There are some different type of automations that you can do to make this happen. So I want first, before we start, to ask you a question. What is a successful business for you? If you think on the perfect world about a successful business, what would it be? Please write down in the chat some uh, thoughts that you have about this. I will wait a few seconds because there are some delays with the live chat, so I want really to hear from you what is your opinion about that. Hands off, I want a business that is automated. What more? Write down in the chat right now if you have more ideas about what is a, a successful business for you. I want to get started, that's great. Automated business. Okay, so we will continue with this presentation, then we will see what is a successful business for me. But before we get started, who am I? So Paul already uh, presented me, but uh, let's make it really quick. Um, I have 11 years of dropshipping experience. I started actually with uh, dropshipping from Chinese, some Chinese sites to eBay manually, and then I started to run some different dropshipping businesses. I have right now 35 active dropshipping stores, um, and it's not only for the profits, but it's also because I can run it automatically and because I want to be connected to the market as much as possible. I want to understand what people want, and I want to understand what takes time to people to automate this stuff also. I oversaw over uh, 50,000 dropshipping stores which is actually the stores of our users. We always check what is working and what doesn't work, not because we want to spy our users or copy them, but because we want to help to the market to get better results. And um, I'm a huge automation believer. I'm a developer for 13 years. Right now, I'm not developing, not coding, not ODS, but I still really like everything that is around automation. So how everything uh, began? So this is about AutoDS, and we'll go really quick about AutoDS, which is our uh, automation platform for um, e-commerce and dropshipping businesses. So all started from a friend who asked me and my partner to build a small tool for her. So actually, she made a course about how to do dropshipping. It was around four years ago. At this time, there weren't a lot of good uh, tools to do dropshipping, and mainly the biggest tools were only for big dropshippers. 
So we thought for ourselves, if we build something for her, why not to build a dropshipping empire for ourselves? Why not to create something that we run a lot of different dropshipping stores for us, and then we can just make a lot of profits on these stores. And then we went to a conference in Israel, and we saw a lot of different people who are talking about their struggles with the business and the time that they waste about many different tasks. And we spoke with them and we showed them the, to the tool and people told us, why don't you release this tool for everyone? So we just said, okay, let's try to help more people. And firstly, we started only with the big sellers. We gave them the automation tool. We saw that we saved them a lot of time and it gave us a lot of motivation and a lot of willing to help to more people to actually even beginners to save more time. So that's how everything started. Right now, we are the biggest dropshipping tool in the market of uh, eBay dropshipping automation tools. And we have over 5,000 active users. Um, and that's all about me and about this. So about the question that I just asked you um, before, what is a successful business? A successful business for me is a business that, uh, actually not for me, for Warren Buffett, this is something that he said, this is a quote from him. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. So this is one of the quotes that I, one of my favorite quotes, because I really feel that this is the right way to go. If the business doesn't work for you, this is not a business. This is not a business that works for you. And actually you work on this business and you will work there for, forever if you don't automate things. And we will talk today about how to automate things, mostly with the software, but not only that. So these are screenshots for, from part of my stores, um, some different stores that we have. And you can see here uh, one, two, three, five stores, another 30 uh, that uh, exist are similar. We usually test, uh, check different strategies in these uh, stores, but uh, all of them are working. So let's talk first about what is involved in a dropshipping business. So I sh I'm pretty sure that most of you already heard some um, different lectures here from Paul and from Nahar about uh, dropshipping. So I will go about it really quickly. Dropshipping is when you buy something for, for example, $150, sell it for $100, and keep the $50 in your pocket. But for sure after fees. But there are a lot of things that are going in the background. For example, price changes, orders that you need to fulfill, customer support that you need to do, products listing that you need to create, you need to actually copy the images, the description and everything into your store. Your store. So here are the, some, of the, some of the processes that we have on a dropshipping business. Let's go over them and see after that how we can automate these processes. So the first thing is product finding. There are different methods to find products. Part of them you need to work really hard and for part of them you can actually automate them. And not only that, you should always think about this that if you found something that works for you, mostly we just continue with the same method or same niche and get more products from this topic to save for yourself time. So this is the first process. The second process is uploading products on a daily basis. One of the most important things for eBay is to see that you're actually active. They want to see that you work every day as a regular market uh, place or store, any store in the market, like always you will see the store owner or someone from the employees that is working on the store, same on, in any online business. eBay wants to see you working every day on your business and this is why you need to list products every day. So this is another daily task that we need to do. So we need to have the products finding and have the uploading products to our store. The next one will be um, price and stock monitoring. We added a product to our store. The price uh, maybe increased or decreased, and now we want to adapt the price on our store. So this task should be done actually in every hour or every few minutes. It always changes. It depends on the amount of your products, but the prices and stocks are always changing. So that's another thing that we want to do. We need to optimize our pricing. 
we have a competitors on eBay and we want to compete with them by price, for sure, not only price, but sometimes we also want to compete with price, especially if we don't sell. So if you have a product that doesn't sell for us, we want to decrease the price a bit because maybe this is the problem. But if we have a, pro a product that is booming and has a lot of sales, we would like to maybe increase the price a bit so we can make some more profits on the sales of this product. Um, the next step that we have is orders fulfillment. We got an order. We are super happy. We want to process this order. We want to fulfill it and send it to our customer. So now we need to go to our supplier and fulfill the order. So that's another thing that we need to do. Tracking number updates. We got a tracking number from our supplier. We need to provide it to our customers so how to do that. And customer support, which is one of the hardest uh, tasks that you need to do every day to give customer support to your buyers. We will talk about that uh, more later. So let's start and see how we can solve any of these steps automatically. So the first thing that we have uh, is the products finding. So for products finding, we have some different methods and we know that other people already talked in this uh, amazing conference about how to find profitable products, but there are many different options and uh, versions of how to do uh, this process at the right way that you can implement in your business. So what I use for my stores and everyone that you will ask from our clients or everyone who worked with me for uh, some time will know that I'm a big believer of the big numbers rule. I am not saying that this is the only method that works. For beginners, maybe you will want to uh, work with other methods and I'm sure that you can find here in this conference many people who taught this. But if you want to grow and manage a lot of different stores automatically, you need to make this process automated. And this is how I do it. So in AutoDS, we have a tool which called AutoDS Finder. Um, now, important thing here, I'm not trying to sell AutoDS. I'm trying to really open your mind and show you how things can be done. So um, we have the AutoDS Finder. This tool actually helps you to save time on the task that's called product finding. You can choose here the supplier that you want to find products from, for example, Amazon US. You can choose which of the categories you want to upload, for example, products with coupons. So let's say that I want to list to my store 100 products that have pro uh, coupons. And then I can make actually more profits on these products because the coupons can be even 20% or 50% from the product price. So think how good is it for your profits. Um, you can also list products that sold eight times in the last month, which means that if it, this product already working for someone, maybe it will work also for us, or at least it has a really high chance to work for us. So I will put here, for example, 10. When I click upload it, okay, when I click upload it, it will ask me which criteria I want to put for the products, which parameters I want my products to have on eBay. So for example, I can choose which design I want for the products. I can choose the uh, profits that I want for the, for the products, the policies, and then I can, with the click of a button, when I click here, upload products, list it to my store. Now, as I said, I want this task to be done every day automatically. So when I understood that people are just going to this page and then listing products every day with this click of a button, what we did, we created a feature of creating a recurring upload. So here I can choose a time when I want the products to be listed, click confirm, and every day at the same time that I said, X products that I just defined in the previous step will be listed automatically to my store. Now, the amazing thing here is that for those of you who don't know eBay uh, so much, when a product just listed, there is higher chance to sell it. Why? Because eBay will promote you more. It co it's called uh, newly listed. And these products get more promotion from eBay, from eBay Casino, which is eBay's uh, search algorithm. And this is why if you list the products 
on the best time when more, more people are buying on eBay, which is actually 6 p.m. EST. Um, so most of your products will be uploaded at this time and you will get much higher chance for sales. So let's continue to the next task that we can do. So actually products finding, we already solved this uh, issue and now we can do that automatically. Upload products on the daily basics. I already uh, explained it also, so you can just schedule it and every day it will be listed at the same time. Um, for those of you who want to list products manually without uh, us finding products for you, what you can do, you can use any other tool for product finding or any other method that you find on the network or courses or everything. You can go to the upload section again, copy any of the product's links, put it here, click grab details. And then what actually Autodesk does is it, it's copied all of the details from the product page from here the title, the description, the uh, images, even the um, item specifics it's called, which is the size, color, brand, manufacturer, and everything like that. And then it will just paste it on Autodesk. So let's see how it works. For now, I will read some questions here. Okay, I think we will do that in the end. Okay, so, um, as you can see, the product copied to Autodesk with the title, with all of the variations. You can edit any of them. Um, it already created for you a beautiful description for the product, which you could choose before which of the, our descriptions uh, templates you want to use. And then if I click upload product, it, it will be just listed to my store. So that's the other option for products uploading. We listed our product. What we should do now? So as I explained before, now we want to check if the price of the product changed. So we have our uh, monitor, and this is something that's called price monitor or stock monitor. And this is a tool that checks if the price changed for the product. If the price increased by $10, we will also increase your price by $10, so you will not lose any money. If uh, the product stock uh, disappeared, for example, the product stock went to zero, which happens a lot with our uh, period of, you know, on the, with the COVID-19 and actually it always happens. So if the product stock goes to zero, we will put the product stock for you also as zero, because if you sell a product which is out of stock, eBay will punishment you after some times like that and you don't want that to happen. So this is another task that can be done automatically. And the last thing here about the prices is the price optimization. We want always to compete with our competitors. So if I go to uh, monitors on Autodesk, we have here a feature which is called Orders Monitor. What it does is that I actually can prepare here some tasks for Autodesk to do for you automatically. For example, if the product sold five times, I want to start and increase the price for each sale by 3%, for example, up to maximum of 20. Why do that? I want to try and maximize my profits. I want that every sale that I do will be more profitable than the previous one, if it's possible. Not always it's possible. So maybe I increase the price too much, but then I got some new competitors or even maybe the old made some changes with their listings. And then what we will do is that we will start to decrease the price automatically every X days. So for example, I can choose here five days and then every five days without a sale, the product price will be decreased by 3%, which I configured here. So all these tasks actually making that happen that I don't need to worry about the pricing of my products. I don't need to worry about products finding. Everything is actually done for me automatically. So all these tasks, uh, already we talked about how to do them automatically, but what about orders fulfillment? So we got an order. 
Now we want to process this order and send it to our customers. For those of you who don't know dropshipping uh, much deeply, um, what you can do, uh, what, what you should do actually is to go to your supplier, copy the uh, address, put it on, um, sorry, go to eBay, copy the address of your customer, put it on your supplier site, add address page, then you click buy product and the product will be sent directly to your supplier. Now, when you get, for example, 100 orders per day, it's a bit hard to do all this process manually. Think about the time of going to Amazon or Home Depot or AliExpress and then starting to copy all the uh, stuff manually. So what we created in AutoDS is some different methods that we can use to fulfill our orders fully automatically. Let's see how it works. I'm not sure if I have here orders, for example. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So if we have this product, for example, and we have the, the others of the customer that I will not open here because I think it's better not to show uh, on this video, but we will have there on the top a button of copy without phone or copy with phone. What this button does is that we can click this button and then go to our supplier's site, for example, here. Let's make an example. Moment. Okay. So I can add this product to my uh, code. And then here I have the paste button. So I didn't click the copy because I cannot open it right now on a live demonstration, but if I click this paste button, it will just paste here the full address of the customer, and then you can just deliver to this uh, address with the click of a button. But we call this semi-automated process because there is much better option to do that. In AutoDS, we created two more other different features. So the first feature is actually that you can add your Amazon account to AutoDS. It works for Amazon or AliExpress. Under the orders processor, you just click add purchase account, adding the account, and then all of the orders will be done automatically using your account. So in this case, all that you need to handle is customer support because we already find the products automatically. We are doing the price optimizations automatically. We are doing the price and stock monitoring, products uploading, now also the orders fulfillment. All what you need to do is to care about your customers and answer all of, all of their questions. But what will happen after the order processed? So the process is that when we uh, make an order on Amazon, Home Depot, AliExpress, any other supplier, after one or two days or even some hours sometimes, we will get a tracking number from our supplier. Then what we need to do, we need to copy the uh, uh, tracking number, put it in our eBay account, and then the buyer will get a notification and he will be able to follow up the order. Now, all this process also done for you automatically. When a tracking number is arrived to your uh, account on Amazon or uh, AliExpress, the tracking number will be copied automatically to your store and another magic will happen that I will show you in the customer support section of this webinar, of this presentation. So I want to ask you a question. We talked about this, that all this process can be done automatically. The product's final, the product's uploading, and the price optimization, price and stock monitoring, all those fulfillment and tracking number updates. But how can we automate the customer support? Should it be done manually? Please write down in the comments in the chat if you have any ideas how we can automate this process also. Because it's nice that AutoDS does all this stuff, but I wish that we would, uh, could even automate your messages with the clients. And maybe one day we will be able to do that, but for now we don't know how to do that. So how can we do that? Uh, 
write down in the chat uh, if you have any ideas how to automate um, your customer support. Can answers, I'm thinking we can uh, semi-automate it with uh, stock answers. Customer service, no. What do I mean by no? Customer service, by the way, this is the most important part of our business. Remember that I don't know how many of you are already doing dropshipping, how many of you don't do, don't do dropshipping already. But if you don't give the best customer support that you can give, eBay will not like you and will suspend your account later. So this is something that you uh, need to remember. Um, about all of the questions we will answer uh, in the end of this uh, presentation. For now, please uh, answer me. What can we do about the customer support? How can we automate it? I don't think we should uh, with uh, the use of uh, VAs. Any other uh, opinions how we can do that? Great. Okay. Uh, you can automate it with VAs. Okay. So, we have two types of customer support. We have the questions, we have the messages that we initiate, which are mostly updates about um, the status of the order. What does it mean? It means that, for example, uh, I want to give to my customer now that the order was shipped. And after I get a tracking number, I want to update the customer that we got a tracking number for him and send him the tracking number update. So yes, the customer can go and check it on eBay, but think about how better the customer will feel if he got a personal message from you with his name and actually feels like it's customized just for him and you just care about him. And the last one is uh, the last one is thank you message. The thank you message is the most important question uh, uh, message between these three because this is our time to tell to our customer, hey, you already got your product. Now, I hope that you are happy with the product. And if not, please let me know. So you give them the trust and you give them the feeling that you really care about them and you really want them to like the product and um, to be happy, satisfied with the product. And then you can ask them also in this message, if you're happy with our service, please leave us a positive feedback on eBay. So from our experience, if you do all this process and you compare it uh, to a process without these three messages, the difference will be around 60% in feedbacks if you do that or if you don't do that. So this process can be actually done uh, automatically. Let's see that on AutoDS. So if I go to messages to buyers and here we have after order success message. So here we have a pre-made message that we already created for our customers. And uh, here you can actually fill the buyer name. So if I put here first buyer name and comma, so the first name will be replaced with his name. And I can add the item title here and the feedback URL if I want, but it's not recommended in the first message. Then for the tracking number update message, I can do the same, uh, hey, Hey, uh, name, here you can track your order using the tracking number. And this way you just created in a second a personal message to your customer, which will notify them about the tracking number update. So think about the feeling of your customer and it will take you zero time to do that. And the last one is the thank you message. As I said, it's the most important one. Thank you for buying from us. We hope you uh, got your uh, package. Please leave us a positive feedback. And then you can even add the link here, feedback URL. That's it. So this is the part where we initiate a conversation with our customer. But is that enough? Because we also have the messages that the customers are sending to us. And they send us what's going on with my order, where is my product, or just even simple questions about products. So what can we do in this case? So 
There is a method that any professional dropshipper is using, and actually, um, okay, basically like that. So um, every professional dropshipping dropshipper is using this method, and this is pre-made messages. What you can do, you can have a file with X messages for any case that you will have, and I'm sure, by the way, that uh, for example, Paul will give that for his uh, students because this is something which is really basic and will help he help you to save a lot of time when you answer your uh, customers. And then what you do, you just ending these messages to AutoDS, or if you don't have this feature, because in some cases, which are called non-API stores, for those of you who know, we don't have this feature, but for API stores, we have that. And there you can just, with a click of a button, paste the message and send it to your customer. Now, if you don't have this system, it's also fine because you can just copy it from Google Sheets file and that's all. So maybe this process is not automated. There are no any software that does this automatically for you. There is no um, any, anything that actually runs this automatically for you and you, can, you should really make it manual. But think about the time saving when you do that using pre-made messages. Now, how it looks like, if I go to customer service on AutoDS, I will have here some different uh, messages. This account is not active, so we don't have here messages from customers. You can click the plus button right here, the template, um, and you will also have here a, a pre-made um, templates that you can use. Here you don't see it because it's a message from eBay, so we cannot really reply them. But after that, it will look like that. And then with the click of a button, you can use any of these messages, send it to your customer and continue forward. But should it be done by you? Should you really see it? And like, I have right now 35 different eBay stores. Do you think that I go every day for each of my stores and replying to my customers? What would you do? People who ask questions on the chat, uh, we will have a lot of time in this presentation for uh, questions because this is one of my favorite parts. And I feel that after all this knowledge and all this information, you will get a lot of questions. So please uh, save them. Um, okay, so should you do the, this task every day? The answer is for sure not. Everyone, every successful dropshipper, will not continue forever to uh, click on and send messages manually. There is something that is super common in our uh, niche, you know, the dropshipping niche, which called VA. VA is actually a virtual assistant. Mostly these people are people from countries where the price per hour is cheaper, the salaries are cheaper than from the United States, for example. And then we can actually maximize our profits and our time. Because if I pay to someone, for example, $2 or $3 to make these tasks for me, I can grow much easier because their profit to our business will be much higher than if we will sit and do all these tasks uh, manually. So VA is something which is super common in the dropshipping niche. And this is the way to automate the last task that we had. So we had here um, all of these tasks, product finding, uploading products, price and stock monitoring, orders fulfillment, tracking updates, but the customer support was always the hardest part. So to initialize messages, we already showed you how to do that. And to reply to your customer messages, this is the way to go using the A's. So this is the easiest way to automate all of the process of the dropshipping business. How to uh, avoid problems when you work with your virtual assistant? So there are, um, there is actually a very big uh, problem. A lot of people are afraid to trust other people and afraid to give them an access to their account. What you can do in AutoDS is just to add a permission for someone to use your account. So if I click here, add VA account, 
I can write here any um, email and the A name, password, and then I can choose which permissions I give them and which permissions I don't give them. This way we can avoid any problems, any type of problems, because the only thing that we will uh, afraid here from this part is the time that we will not pay them, that we don't want to pay them too much. So we can use some time trackers for that and some screen sharing uh, programs. But basically, if you give them, for example, an access just to upload listings for you, they can only access the uploader. If you want to give them only the customer support system, so this is the way to automate your uh, messages to your, to your customers and give the customer support. So right now we finished all of the process of um, the dropshipping business and everything uh, we showed actually how everything can be done automatically. Some other tasks that more professional dropshippers will do to save even more time. So one example of that is that we don't want to keep not profitable products on our store. Why? Because we don't want to pay too much fees to eBay and we don't want to affect our conversion rate. So what we have here is a system that we can configure that if the product has one more day before we pay for that product again, and uh, the minimum quantity of the product is, uh, sorry, the product never sold. So we don't want this product on our store and it will be removed automatically. So this is how I manage the stores to a situation where I even don't need to care about which products I delete and which I don't delete because everything will be done automatically here also. Another thing, if we work with Amazon, so for part of the products, we have um, tax um, on Amazon. So the average tax is usually around 5%. And there is a small trick that we added on AutoDS. Mostly products that are not sold by Amazon will not have taxes and products that are sold by Amazon will have it. So this is why we will uh, put a different pricing for each type of product. So this is another task that we uh, can do automatically. Another thing, uh, if we work with a different type of shipping speeds, for example, with non-prime uh, sellers on Amazon or prime sellers, so we can use the dynamic policy creation, which will create automatically for us policies. Something important here, it's irrelevant for non-API users. But anyway, uh, for those who use API, it will save them a lot of time. Round prices to 99. This is uh, actually a marketing trick and that I'm sure that you saw on any store in the world, on any site in the world. And this is actually a trick that um, People checked and it actually works. It helps you to sell more. Why it works? It works because usually people are checking only the digits on the left of the dot. So this way if we put the 99 cents, we make more profits here while the price will look um, not higher, not like the price will not look as the higher price. So this is another thing that can be done automatically. This, by the way, combined with the orders monitor, which will optimize the prices for you, making crazy results because you're using some psychology pr pricing and also your pricing is good for your products. So everything there also done automatically. And you don't need to care about checking what is the best price for your product and stuff like that. Um, so, this is uh, actually, these are actually the tasks that we can do automatically. I see that I have some more time, so I will show you some other things that we can do. There is another um, task that people are doing, which is creating collage. Uh, you want, one second. You always want your product to give as much information as possible to your customers when you list it. So what we can do is that um, if we put a, a product ID, 
For example, if we take this product, we have the product ID here. I can put it here. And then here I can choose some things that when I list my products will be done automatically for me. The first one is that we can make first upper letters. So it means that every, every title will get customized, will be changed by AutoDS, and every first letter of each of the words will become an upper letter. We can duplicate the main picture to 12. We always want to have as much as many pictures as possible on our listing because it's better for our promotion. So we can use this feature also. And we can make collage. We can take the four uh, first images of the product, combine all of them together, and then we will just have a mess, uh, image that Autodesk created for us. Looks very professional. Looks like you actually took Photoshop and created this picture and actually it all also done automatically for you. Let's take an example here. If you want, you can write also other stuff that you think that I didn't cover about how to automate it and I will show you how it can be done uh, automated also. Just write down and I, I'm sure that I will be answer to automate anything that comes to your mind. So we have here some different pictures and we have here two different features that can help us to make it much, to make our listing looks better. If I click create collage, it will take four images from this listing, combine all of them together and make something like that. Then if I put it as my main uh, image, it will be different than any of my competitors. So I will get a higher chance to get a click on the search results. And we can also set a watermark. There are a lot of people who want to put on their uh, images that uh, this product is high quality or that it has fast shipping or stuff like that. This can be done with the click of a button. Or if we use the Autodesk Finder that I showed in the beginner, in the beginning, it also will be done automatically because when I click upload it, I have here all of these params that I just showed you. And then I can just choose here the uh, create uh, the set watermark, for example, or the create collage, and that's all. So this also will be done automatically. Now I want to keep some time for questions. So before um, we finish uh, this uh, lecture and this actually amazing, I hope that it said you like opened your mind a bit. So this is some uh, methods that you can contact me and you can keep learning and keep uh, stay updated with dropshipping. You have the amazing channel of uh, Paul on uh, YouTube and you have his amazing courses, but also you, I suggest you to follow as many people as possible so you can learn different methods. And so this is our YouTube channel. And this is our uh, dropshipping community, which is super active. It's not only questions about AutoDS and mostly it even not only uh, not about AutoDS because we really try to keep the community active for any dropshipping question. I'm super active there. I'm always answering any question there. You can go to the community and check that. Uh, actually, it's me and uh, our team. And you can try the tool, the AutoDS, for $1 using a polls link here which is will give you actually one month for one dollar instead of one week and you will get with it 400 hot products 100 products monitoring by the way you can choose there also an option of 400 uh, of uh, sorry yeah 400 4000 and 10,000. so if you prefer any other package you can just choose it there and it also will be for one dollar and 30 automated orders, including the tracking number updates and three messages to your buyers. So this is the link. You can go and check the tool there. And here we go, Q&A. Cool. So that was excellent. Thank you so much, man. And uh, we do have a lot of good questions for you. Um, I really like that overview. 
So let's get into some of these questions. So we had one user or one, um, uh, somebody in the chat named V good. And she wants to know, she wants to move from a store where she's never used software over to auto DS. Is that possible to do? It's possible to do. There are uh, two different uh, methods to do that. The first one is using API because I just saw a question here. And the second one is not using API. Um, everyone can choose what he prefers to do, but you can link any store and then you can also link all of your products to AutoDS with the click of a button. So yeah. even if you have some orders that you still didn't process, for example, you can link your product, then you will see all orders and you will be able to send them to automation. Yes. Um, and I've done it before. It's, it's when you, when you go to set it up, it kind of walks you through it. So it's pretty easy to do. <laughs> um, what about does, uh, let's see, can you kind of explain if this is a good thing for someone who's new, how complicated is this? Diane wants to know. So. You need to know how to do dropshipping. I will not say that you can just, with a click of a button, start uh, making money because otherwise everyone will do that and that's all. But you need to actually start and learn how to do dropshipping and then AutoDS will help you. It will be a tool to automate your tasks and make everything easier for you, but it will not replace the knowledge uh, that you need to uh, actually get. Cool. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I'm looking in the wrong place. Uh, how many are you, do you have any plans to add other suppliers? Yeah, so we're working on a, a system that will uh, help us to create much more suppliers in a much easier way. Um, so we will add more suppliers, but the difference between uh, AutoDS and other tools, there are other tools that offer a lot of different suppliers. The difference is that any supplier that we add, we actually test on our stores because we want to see that this supplier is reliable. Any of the suppliers that you see on AutoDS is actually a reliable supplier with a good customer support, with good products, with high quality products that we tried before. We already built in the past some suppliers that we just decided not to add to AutoDS because we saw that the quality there is not good but we will add for sure more suppliers. Cool. Uh, it's exciting to hear. Um, how to find Vero items, Nabil wants to know. Maybe you could explain what Vero is first and then how AutoDS helps with that. Yeah, so Vero items are, from what I understand from the question, are items that, are, uh, that have a lot of sales right now in this period of time. Uh, for example, in, if we check now, so it would be masks, for example, or, you know, uh, machines for haircuts and stuff like that. And um, what I would do is to write on Amazon or any other uh, platform and check there by reviews, by uh, competitors to check who is selling these products at the best way. Another trick that I recommend to people to do to save a lot of time is what we can do is if we write, for example, Let's say that we got a bag and we had a sale for this product. So it means that this niche is working for us. I don't want to spend more time and going to other niches. What I would do is I would go to Amazon and just list many different and other products from this specific niche, which can be done very easily. We have here the AutoDS helper. I can click extract. It will take the product IDs from all of the products on this page, and then I will be able to just copy it out of this and list many other products from the same niche. So to answer your question, if you found a product that is uh, going well for you and trending right now, you can just go and list many other products from the same niche. Cool. So uh, that's, I answered a question about how to find some good winning products. Um, maybe you can talk about uh, Vero, V-E-R-O products. Ah, Vero products, I see. Yeah. Okay. So Vero products, this is also something that is super important to know for any beginner. Um, Vero products are products that if you go to uh, vero.ebay.com, you will have here a list of uh, different brands. 
Now, all these brands are brands that if you list a product from them without contacting them before and get an approval, mostly your account will be suspended. But the thing is that the Vero problem on eBay is a bit complicated because everyone can go show to eBay that this product is from their brand and then you will still get suspended even if your product doesn't appear here. So something that we, even, even if the brand doesn't appear here. So something that we did on AutoDS to decrease the amount of Vero products that you uh, can list to your store is that first of all, for sure, we will show you a warning. Hey, you cannot list this product because the brand X, for example, Apple is a Vero. The second thing that we do is that we scan all of the messages of all of our customers that use API and if someone got a Vero violation, which means that his account got suspended because of Vero, we will just add the brand to our uh, list of uh, uh, brands that you cannot list from. So basically, uh, Vero are brands that you cannot list products from them without approval from the seller. Cool. And uh, the other thing I'll say about Vero is that most people who do get suspended for Vero, it's usually only for a few days or a week and then they're allowed to start selling again. So um, that's an extra kind of protection. So I kind of see it as AutoDS is the first protection. It will alert you if you try to list one. And then worst case scenario, what normally happens is you just get a warning from eBay and then maybe you'll get suspended for a couple of days, but then they always let you come back. But you want to avoid getting suspended even for a couple of days because that's lost money. Um, profit Profit says, can you tell us what API and non-API means? Yeah, um, I, I would like to add one small thing for the Vero. Sure. Um, so sometimes you will also get a message from someone on eBay. Hey, please remove this product. These are all the nicer brands, people who are uh, like actually first going to you and telling you, please remove it. But there are a lot of people who just your competitors and want you to remove the product. So. It, the, my suggestion is to ask the other uh, person to prove that this brand is actually our theirs and then uh, go and remove the product immediately. Um, about the API and non-API, there are two different methods that uh, dropshipping software can work. The first one is uh, to be linked to eBay directly, that you actually go and give permission to your, to your software, to AutoDS, to uh, modify your pricing, to add new listings to your store, to delete listings. This is API. The connection with eBay, the uh, way that the software communicates with eBay or with any other software calls, called API. <clears throat> Non-API is a method to work without this connection with eBay. And then eBay thinks that everything that you do is manual, that you actually go to eBay, and changing the price. For that, what should be done is that your Chrome browser needs to be all, all, always open. And then uh, we will have an extension that just goes and does everything for you automatically. Um, <clears throat> most of the features that I just showed today work uh, for both of the me methods. And the only one which doesn't work for now is the customer service and the profitability monitor, which is the feature that removes bad selling products. Um, and why to use non-API or API? It depends on your strategy and everyone and his strategy because it's a bit deeper uh, topic. Okay. Um, this is a question. Uh, does eBay know if you list the items manually or automatically? Oh, no, does AutoDS track the listings if you add them manually or automatically so if you add them uh, automatically uh, for sure if you if you add the product manually and you want to connect it to automation so yes you can do one of the two things actually you can do only one thing which is i can go to untrack listings i will have here the product that i listed to ebay and then i can decide if i want to uh, monitor the price of the product using API or not API, it depends on my store, but it will be linked uh, to AutoDS 
the orders will be done automatically after you added it from that track listings. All right, getting this question a lot today. Do you think that drop shipping right now with COVID-19, do you think it still works or should people wait until it's over? So um, let me do something here. Um, so this is a post that I listed yesterday, that I uploaded yesterday on my Facebook account. Um, and this is the graph of the sales on AutoDS uh, signs of COVID-19. So can you so, can you explain what that is that you're showing? Yeah. So what we show here is that um, this graph is a weekly graph of the amount of sales on AutoDS. And um, these are the sales of all of the users together. And wow. this is what happened. So basically, <laughs> the amount of sales doubled signs the COVID-19. Um, I showed here all the um, progress, so you can see it every week, how it changed. Or if you check the online shopping keyword on uh, Google Trends, you can see that this is also skyrocket. Actually, it's a new record for that. So the answer is for sure, yes, the amount of sales now is crazy. Um, like It's more than we had on Black Friday, more than we had on Christmas. Uh, so for sure you can do dropshipping. Yeah, amazing, amazing time. Uh, someone in the chat said, that's crazy, LOL. <laughs> um, Carolina wants to know if you're able to open multiple eBay accounts and still keep them automated. So yes, one of the uh, things that, that, okay. One of the things that we added on AutoDS uh, also from our needs, because we understood that it's something that we must have is the option to choose here multiple uh, users together. So I can link how many accounts I want to AutoDS. We have, for example, one user who has a strategy to work with hundreds of accounts. So he has like 200 accounts in one AutoDS account. You can select all of your, your users together, click filter and see all of the results for all of them together. You can make bulk changes for all of the accounts together. You can also see the orders for all of them together. So it's not a problem to open multiple accounts, but if you are a beginner and you want to go and immediately open multiple stores, there are some things that you need to, do, to know. For example, that if the stores are, all of them are uh, on your name, you cannot list the same product to all of them. That's one, just one example, but for sure you can automate all of them together. Cool. Um, let's see. Oh, and if you have more than one store and they're both into auto DS, um, will it uh, let you know if you try to list the same product? You mean, uh, ah, if, if you will, oh, I see. Uh, so yeah, if you have two, two different stores on auto DS, we will prevent you from uh, listing the same product. Cool. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Okay. Um, let's see any other good questions here. I went back down to the bottom of the chat. Um, I offer the challenge here if someone wants. You can try and uh, say things that you think that I didn't cover about okay. how to automate it. <laughs> so if someone has something like that, I would be really happy to answer that. Um, let's see. Does... Hmm. We got through a lot of these questions, trying to see if there's anything that we missed. Uh, I see. Yes. Uh, do you have any strategies to avoid getting banned? Okay. Uh, Go for uh, it. So this one is very interesting. So we already talked about the VRO and about the duplicate listings. But one thing that I already covered a bit on this presentation is something that I don't know any beginner who understood it completely. The most important part for eBay for any business is the customer support and customer experience. So there are people who get banned 
And then they come to me and say, Lior, I got banned, but I did everything okay. I shipped all of my orders and I don't know why. And then when I check their messages, I see that they didn't answer their customers. They didn't uh, uh, solve cases or returns that people ask them to solve. And then they come with the band. But if you do everything by the book, you follow, you give the best customer experience, the best customer support, and you uh, ship everything on time. So you will not have any problems with suspension because eBay likes good uh, uh, sellers. It brings value to their marketplace. It brings good experience to their buyers. No, no reason to suspend them. Cool. Um, so of your 35 stores, how many are API and non-API? What Deb wants to know. So for me, I use a bit different strategy. For me, all of them API, but Again, um, there are different methods of working. I know that Paul manages stores with non-API, so it depends and depends on what he prefers. Yeah, different strategies. They all work though. <laughs> you know, they all work, which is pretty cool. Different ways to do things. Um, what about, how, how do you find your virtual assistants? Uh, Mansoor wants to know. So in the past, it was much harder. Right now, if you go to any dropshipping community and you post there a post about, hey, I need a VA, <laughs> uh, or even, hey, I need a VA with experience with AutoDS, you will find it super fast. It's, it's so easy now. There are thousands of them, and they always search for more job and more work, and they always add their friends or family. By the way, this is an amazing way uh, to scale. Tell to if you have already, if you already have a VA, try to tell them, hey, do you have someone from your family who would want to work with us? And you will find them immediately. Um, another method is to go to Facebook groups like uh, Filipino uh, Virtual Assistant, and you will find their groups of tens of thousands of people. And the last option, which is the most expensive one and the less recommended one, but if you want to save time and to do it like on more safe way is to go to sites like Upwork, which is a site to find different employees online and find it there. But Upwork takes some uh, commissions and so it makes it much more expensive. Cool. I think we have one last drop shipping question about customer service from Hamza. Wants to know, you know, there's a lots of different personalities of people, of uh, buyers. So how do you deal with different personalities? Maybe the Reading between the lines, question is: How do you deal with difficult buyers on eBay? It's a good question. Uh, as dropshipping is a business, it's an online business. You can manage it from everywhere. The initial investment is super small, but it's still a business. And as a business owner, you should care about your customers, and you should just work with your brand and answer them and make them feel happy. And, you know, there are, like, even, even if you hire a VA, the VA is not a robot. So you should teach your VA to think, to answer uh, reasonable uh, answers and not just to send uh, copy-pasted messages. But in 90% of the cases, it will be just a response with remain message and that's all. Right. All right, guys. So underneath this video, we'll have links to get in contact with uh, Lior. We have the links to AutoDS, his YouTube channel, and a free Facebook group. Uh, so you guys can join that. So you don't have to type that in. You can just click the button. Um, like I said before, AutoDS is a software that I use to run my business. So the link underneath this video, that that is my affiliate link. But the only reason I recommend it is because we actually use it and love it ourselves. We think it's the best one for drop shipping onto eBay. And I've tried a lot of them. So uh, I'm really big fan of the software. I'm really big fan of what you do for the community, Lior. So thank you so much. Thanks for this presentation. And I wanna give you just another minute so you can kind of close this out. The question I like to ask at the end is, if people are struggling to get started and not getting started, what advice would you have for them? Okay, uh, so my advice for people who are struggling, uh, you mean to decide if they should get started or not? Yeah. Okay, so if you feel that you can and you want 
to really change your life and you want to really save your time and create something for you, I think that you, think you need to uh, think in this direction and take someone who will help you to start uh, this uh, business. And what more is that everything is about mindset. I think that the hardest part of the dropshipping business, because as you can see, the initial requirements are super low. So the hardest part is the mindset. And if you work on yourself and you understand that this is a business and you really want to succeed, so I'm sure that you will succeed. You just need to be patient and you will succeed for sure if you have someone who really taught you in the beginning how to do it the best way. Cool. Um, well, thank you so much. And uh, make sure to use the links down below, everyone. Thanks, man. Really appreciate so, it. Thank you very much for this amazing conference, Paul. I'm sure that it gave to people a lot of value about a lot of different uh, topics and money-making methods. So it's amazing that you made this thing and you're the first one to, who made something like that, huge like that. So thank you for having me here and I hope that uh, everyone enjoyed it. They did. And thank you. The honor is really mine. All right, everyone. See you at the next presentation. Bye.